I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS All, your source for open source. Do you have the audacity to use an open source sound editor? This week on OS Alt, I'm going to review one of my favorite open source programs. Without Audacity, you probably wouldn't hear a lot from me each week. This episode of OS Alt is brought to you by Gamefly. Audacity is used for recording and post-processing of all types of audio. Right out of the box, it supports all of these formats. Install the optional FFmpeg library and Audacity will handle any file you throw at it. You can even mix your own MP3s by downloading the Lame encoder. Audacity runs on Mac, Linux, BSD, and Windows. It's registered under the GNU General Public License so you can use it commercially, personally, and install it on as many computers as you want. Audacity has your basic navigation controls that you've come to expect. Play, stop, forward, skip to beginning, skip to end, but that's rookie stuff, right? You can also mix multiple tracks at once, cutting, copying, and pasting your way through a podcast, or even mix your own techno with the vast digital effects. Don't worry, if you mess up, there's unlimited undos, so you can start back at the very beginning if you so choose. The record feature couldn't be easier. With just a few clicks of a button, you've set up the device you want to use and are musing away to your microphone. Audacity will also convert your old Queen cassette tapes into digital tracks by automatically detecting the silences between each song. Typically, we're not blessed with a soundproofed environment every time we record. Usually there's some kind of godforsaken fan, refrigerator hum, or traffic sounds in the background. One of my favorite features of Audacity is the noise removal tool. Check out how it works. Using the tool is a cinch. You just highlight 5 to 10 seconds of just the noise that you want to remove and make a profile so Audacity knows what to filter out. Then select the whole clip in question and isolate or remove. This is where I think the program really shines. So this noisy sound becomes a not so noisy sound. You can get even more in depth by using the spectrum view, where you can analyze sounds down to the very decibel. Intense, huh? If you're reminiscing about your high school days, don't worry, you can be a teenager again with Audacity. How do you ask? Well, Audacity can let you change the pitch without changing the speed. An abracadabra, you're 15 years younger. Or a guy. Before my review conclusion, it's time for some sponsor love. Mortal Kombat has been my guilty pleasure since my arcade days. With 7,000 new and classic titles for console and handhelds and plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as you want, or until you get Carpal Tunnel. If you get tired of a game, just send it back and Gamefly will send you what's available next on your list. If you can't stop button mashing in Soul Calibur, simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. They'll even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Gamefly has no late fees, no due dates, and shipping is always free. OS Alt fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to Gamefly.com slash OS Alt. What's not to love? In my opinion, Audacity is one of the best free and open source programs available today. For basic sound recording and comprehensive editing, it does everything I need. As someone who produces video content on a regular, constant basis, I definitely use its capabilities. Audacity is available for about every operating system under the sun, and it's super mature in its development. Empowerment of individuals is a key part of what makes open source work, since in the end, innovations tend to come from small groups, not from large structured efforts. If you're looking for a sound editor or recorder, give Audacity a try here. You can even auto-tune yourself. Thanks for watching OS All. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source.